Your dog just reminded me why I do what I do. To do things like that. Yeah. Come on, tell me that hasn't made your day. No, this like Look at your dog. <laughs> She's laying in the water. It does not become more, you could not get a better finish. Uh, during this video, you are gonna see some really, really amazing things happen with the dog that remind me why I do what I do, why I love dogs so much and why I know that you shouldn't give up on your dogs. You can do amazing things if you have a good plan, a good process, you trust yourself, you can do great things and you can get your dog better. Enjoy. So like I said, clearly fear-based. Um, and as soon as we distinguish between the fear and the real aggression, that's where we know we can fix or not that you can't fix, like outright aggression is treatable, but how it is with dogs is with it, when it's general, like real aggression, you can't change a dog's uh, like true desire to want to maybe bite a dog, but you can change their, whether they act on it or not. So they, it's like, I always use the analogy as like with people. There's people you may not like and I may not like, but I know it's not right to walk up and express that or whatever it be, you just gotta keep it to yourself. Be like dogs, yeah? yeah? So we're gonna teach them that. But with fear, most of the time, it's about getting your dog around dogs it trusts. Yep. So what we're gonna to do today, we're gonna to work towards is, she can't get away, she's fine. Bringing one by one dog in, really non-threatening dogs. But what we've gotta not get confused about is, your dog may be nervous, but we can't use that as an excuse for her to act out of line. Yep. So a lot of people have a scared dog and they go, oh, I can't tell her off, I can't reprimand her because she's scared. No, 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 she can be scared, but she's not allowed to attack or be aggressive towards dogs that are doing nothing wrong. Yep. I'm okay with a dog defending itself if a dog comes up and attacks it. I think any person or dog should have a right to defend themselves. Yep. still amazes me the amount of people who have a dog attack another dog and, and it fights back and they tell them trouble. I'm like, well, what's the dog meant to do? You know, like, it happens, it's life. So, but what we want to address is her general obedience too. If you want a dog to not be aggressive, to come back to do all those things, they're all connected, okay? If you can't make your dog go to like a place or a sit and a stay or a down, it's hard to also get them not to react because if you can't get that control, you're not gonna be able to control yeah. them there. So we're gonna work on a place command first. Sure. Yeah, so we'll, can you call your dog over? Will she come over? Mayday, come. Is she food driven? Yeah. Okay. Mayday, she's more towards Mayday, 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 hey. I sound like I'm saying mayday, mayday, you're crashing. <laughs> mayday, come, 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 come. Yeah, good puppy, good puppy. What I like about Mayday is, okay, the only reason she's not having food now is because she is anxious. Yep. Dogs get a bit like that, so we won't worry about the food. Now, with this place command, the idea is you go home with the homework to practice. It doesn't mean she's gonna know this perfect today, yep. but this is something you should implement in your life. Does she have a bed at home where yep. she, can you send her to her bed? Yep. Every time, like? Not every time. Okay, so the thing is, there's like a lot of people go, oh, my dog sits and stays. Well, it may without distractions. Yep. But we need to know your dog. Someone knocks at the door, someone turns up with the dog, you can go, mayday, place. Yeah, no, okay, <laughs> so that's what we want to work towards. Okay, yep. What I call like a bomb-proof stay. Like anything could happen in front of mayday and she goes, I can't leave this place. Okay, yep. Whether it's a green mat, a bed, it doesn't matter. When you get home, you can exchange this for the bed. Okay. Easy as that. Yep. I just want to show you how to do it and then you work from there. Now, she's not going to take the food off me today, but I can still show you the process. So I'll put this a little bit further over here. And she, but she knows general stay and all that, yeah? Okay, cool. So, we're gonna start real close. Mayday, hey, puppy, hey. Mayday, place, place. Good dog, sit. Good dog, stay. Nice loose lead, small, uh, uh, uh. small stay. Good dog, stay. Yes, good dog. Mayday, free. I start small, okay? Little, little ones, even though she knows it. I like to start a session, even if a person's done all the training in the world, do what I call like a, a reset or like recalibration yep. of the dog and just yep. get it all squared away again. Okay, nope. Mayday, place, place, sit, stay. Loose lead. Remember, we want to know the dog's staying there by choice, not by me holding the dog. Stay. Good dog, stay. Good dog. Mayday, free. Yes. Now, we don't want our dog to respond to its name, meaning I can go. Okay. Mayday, hey, ready? Mayday, place. Yes, place, sit, stay. Now I'm gonna add a little approximation here, which is means another level, stay. I'm just gonna do small movements, stay. Loose lead, stay. Little movements right and left, stay. Good dog, uh-uh. Mayday, free. 
And what I'm looking for there and what I don't want is any, uh, any anticipation. I know she wants to be with you, but she's not allowed to pull me towards you. Okay. Hey, good. And I'm very gentle with her. She's quite a soft dog. But like I said to you, don't get it confused that you can't tell her off, okay? I mean, you've got a check chain on her and that's what you walk her on. A lot of people are against these, but it's people that don't know how to use them. Used right, they're fine. I'll use them according to whatever dog needs them. I walk my dog on a slip lead, a flat collar. I've got check chains, it's all appropriate to the dog and how you use it. A lot of people put these on wrong. And when they use them, they let the dog pull like this and they keep this pressure. The dog never gets a chance to feel a loose lead. So if I'm here and I'm walking towards you, Mayday, come here. And I go towards you from here, Mayday, let's go. And if she does it, pull, little pop, but then look, pressure off, good dog. And then I'm gonna do it again. Mayday, let's go, quick, let's go. Yes, beautiful. And that was tiny, it was a little pop. But she felt a small consequence. And then she quickly figured out, if I don't pull this lead, he doesn't do that little pull. It was nothing, but the dog would sooner make a choice, go, you know what, I don't really like that that much. How about I just follow this guy? Problem is, people do the pull and then they keep the pressure on. The dog can't avoid the pressure, so it has nothing to learn. It goes, well, I don't know what to do. I'm trying to walk nice, but even when I walk back here, the person still pulls the lead shorter and shorter. I don't get to feel any pressure relief. So I want the dog to feel if it's in the right spot, yeah. That's where this goes. Okay. It's yeah. so important. Otherwise, you can have a check chain on a dog all day and it will do nothing. So if I do it again, Mayday, let's go. Quick. Yeah, good dog. I'm going to walk back towards you so I use you as my target. Mayday, let's go. Come on, quick, 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 quick. I come back. Yes, good dog. I do it again. Mayday. Yes, good puppy. Good dog. So she's making a choice there. Yeah. I'm not doing anything. She's literally just following me. So that was a little digress, but I... Any moment a dog does, I'll use the moment to show you something. Yeah. So that little sidetrack. Let's go back to this. So, Mayday, ready? Place. Mayday, place. Mayday, sit. Good dog. Stay. So a little bit more approximation. I move and stay. I'm just going to pick up a rock. What's this? Leave it. Leave it. Good puppy. Stay. Do it again. Leave it. Good dog. Mayday. Mayday. Free. The reason I repeat her name is I don't want her to anticipate what I'm about to say. Okay. Dogs are really good at picking up on rhythm. So if I go, Mayday free, Mayday every time, she'll go, he's gonna say free. Okay. And then he'll say their name and they'll start to move and they're ready to go. Okay. So try and trick the dog. Okay. okay, I'm gonna do it yeah. one more time. And you mix up that all the time. Ready, Mayday, Mayday, place. Mayday, sit, good dog, stay. Little bit of movement, next approximation, stay. Drop the lead. Good dog. Ah. Now I'm watching her body language. Good girl. I can see when she's thinking of moving. Stay. Good dog. Stay. Stay. Reinforces stay when I bend down. Anytime I bend down, the dog tends to want to move. Show the rock, whatever it is. What's this? Leave it. Leave it. Good puppy. Okay, so she's taking food now, which means what? She's less anxious. Mayday, free. That's a clear sign your dog's less anxious. She wasn't not hungry than hungry. Yes. She just wasn't sure. She's getting more relaxed. I'm going to do one more, then it's your turn. Okay. okay, so ready? Now, regarding the food too, I use the food then as a reward for doing the action, not using the food to make her do the action. Does that make sense? Yes, Otherwise, it takes the power of the food away. So if I'm going, please do this for food, please do this for food, please do this, go, cool, take the food away. There's no real power there. I rewarded her then after the action. It's like saying to a child, here's a gift I'll give to you if you do great in an exam. Yeah. But you could probably do good in the exam, it sees the gift. Instead, flipping that going, your child does good in an exam one day, a little bit better than normal, and you go, look what I got for you, a surprise. Kid goes, I'm going to try harder next time again. These random surprises. But then to keep that even more powerful, you use that as an interval reward. So you might give a present to your child every fifth time they do good in an exam. Third, they don't know when it's going to happen. Yep. This is what you do with food. Okay. Sometimes you'll get it. Or when they do a really good one. Okay. Like a primary reward when they do really good. A secondary reward, sort of like, you're okay? Yeah, good dog. Okay. Food for amazing. Yep. Pat for, yeah, it's okay. okay. Yeah? Yep. One more. Let's go. Mayday, ready? Mayday, place. Place. Good dog, place. Mayday, sit. Good, stay. 
Drop the lead with confidence. Don't do this. This is what most people do. Stay, stay, stay. And they just freak the dog out. Yeah. Just go, mayday, stay. It doesn't mean she'll never move, yeah. but portray confidence in your body language. Okay. Stay. Good. Ah, no. See, I'm watching her. I know when she's going to move. Stay. What's this? What's this? Leave it. Good dog. Stay. Good choice. Yeah? She made a choice. I pick up the lead with confidence. Mayday. Good dog. I move around. Stay. I'm adding movement now. Good dog. Yes. A real stay, like a legit stay, is down at the beach. This is a pretty controlled environment. There's a bunch of dogs there. But now with me moving and jumping and throwing rocks or whatever, a toy, it's adding a bit of reality to it, the real world. Mayday. Good dog. Mayday. Free. If I'm all anxious, the dog's going to pick up on it. I'm in control. I've already given her what I call a preemptive leave it. I'm going to let her investigate. I feel good about her body language. I'm not saying she's not going to do anything, but my dog's given her trust. I'm not saying she won't have a little nip here, but if she does, I'll jump on her. I need to let her try and make good choices. You know who the best gauges of dogs are? Other dogs. They're pretty good at reading. And if he loses interest, good dog. I can see a little intensity. Good dog. I can see I'm ready for it. Good girl. Hey, hey Mayday. Hey Nash. Good. Okay, dog one. So we'll go to dog two. You have to, you have to be the strong leader. Dogs are really, really perceptive at picking up on lack of confidence of people. How you hold your lead, little idiosyncrasies with your body, how you're anxious. You, you couldn't be shaking, you don't even know you're shaking, she'll know. Like, legit. So you need to be, I'm in control. I'm a fan of the preemptive leave it. Dog's coming. Before she even thinks about doing it, I give a little pop, leave it. Okay? It's not a punishment. It's like going like this. I'm watching you. That's all I'm doing there. If it, she gets worse, I go, but it also lets her know, don't forget this leads on you, okay? okay? Yep. Look, there's people who see this YouTube video and see me do that and hate it and go, you're so cruel to dogs. I would say to them, you do this then, fix this dog. She doesn't want food right now. She wasn't gonna take food. How are you gonna do it? Yep. It is no different than have a naughty kid that hits other kids for no reason. What are you gonna do? You're gonna reprimand them. What do you mean to do, give them a reward? Sit with a biscuit in front of your kid and go, if you don't touch that kid, I'll give you a chocolate biscuit. That doesn't teach anything. You need to teach them. It's not acceptable. Can't act like that. The world with dog training right now has gone a bit crazy with that you can't reprimand a dog. It's all got to be food driven. You can't correct a dog. How dare you put a check chain on a dog. That is not a dog. Mayday, that is not a dog that is scared of me because I checked her. That body language there is how she come in. She's a shy dog. She's a little bit nervous. She's not going to come to me when I bend down like that if she thinks I'm a horrible person. I'm not correcting like she needs trouble. I'm just saying, behave yourself and you'll be good. So that's one dog. My dog, nice and non-threatening, puppy young. We haven't got any threatening dogs here, but we've got one, some that are a bit boisterous. So we're gonna go through you know, four or five dogs, even more. And what I want you to leave is with have a procedure that you're comfortable to go, okay, I know how to introduce her to a dog. I give her a leave it, I do this. I work on the place stay command. I want you to get this place stay command so it is ridiculously good that you can kick a football, ride a bike, do a dance, whatever it takes in front of her. She just goes, whatever. Now, she can lay down on there, yep. okay? If you want to make her do a down, that's fine. I was just doing sit today, but you can go down stay. Look, down stay or drop, whatever you use, is better for long term. Obviously, she's more comfortable, yep. so you'd use that, okay? What do we do? Puddles is going to come in the door. Come up here. I give her a preemptive leave it as soon as I know she's seen the dog. Leave it. That's all. Nothing more. Good dog. Look at the tail. Good girl. That's the way. Good dog. Now we do a slow introduction. I'll show you a nice way to introduce a dog. I do this. I hold the pointy end. Good dog. Uh -uh. Oh, no. Nope. Good dog. Good girl. I let her have a smell. Now, if a dog will accept the smell of another dog, it doesn't look. It's not foolproof, don't get me wrong, but it's a good sign that she's going to probably accept him. She wasn't trying to bite him. She was looking at him, but she was okay. So let's let her come in. Now, what I want you to watch is where she licks. If she goes under the mouth and she's around underneath, this is a good thing. So if she's trying to put her head over the top, or she's standing sideways looking in the eyes, she's teeth chattering, licking her lips, there are signs of anxiety. 
So we're watching out for that, okay? So we'll bring Puddles over and get him to stand up. Puddles, Puddles come here. And we still be careful. Ah, no. Doesn't, now watch. We don't not let him meet again. Come back, come on. Nope, leave it. Leave it. Good girl. Leave it. Good dog, yeah, good dog. Leave it. Good girl, leave it. Good girl. Good girl, good dog, yes. Hey, no, I'll let her go back. Bring him back again. Puddles is being nice, so we're not allowed to accept that. Good dog, it's okay. Puddles, 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 puddles. Yeah, be nice. Now I don't want to stand in near me because that's where they do that resource guardian and protecting. Puddles, come here, bud. Good dog, good girl, there we go. Leave it, good dog, walking back past. Puddles, leave it, leave it, good dog. Walking back past, lots of talk, lots of praise, lots of high voice. Leave it. Yeah, good girl. Good dog. Okay, next dog. Puddles doesn't want to go. See you, Puddles. Thank you for your help. Good dog. Okay. He, what did I say before about the other dog? Go by the other dog a lot. That was what we'd call a pathetic attempt, a half ass attempt. It was pretty much nothing. But people's... I use this term a lot lately for some reason, knee-jerk reaction, like an overreaction is, oh my God, take the dog away from dogs. Okay, that's what I do, No, I don't want her to hurt No, I go, dog. hey, that's okay. not acceptable. Okay. Then what did I do? I made them meet again. Okay. Yep. If your child was naughty with another kid, one kid, would your answer be, don't let them see kids ever again? No. What would you do? Tell them off, you, in the old days, tap on the bum, whatever it be, and you go, go and play, be nice. This is what we're doing with the dog. That's a, it is identical to what we're doing with the dog. We don't want that overreaction because it is an overreaction when we put the dog away. That was nothing in the dog world. But as humans, we overread it because as a human, we go, it's not acceptable to walk up and punch someone. It's not. But in the dog sense of things, that was really nothing. Okay. That's a nervous dog going, okay. go away from me. Okay. Go away from me. No, no. If he was aggressive towards your dog, I'd understand it. He gave off great body language, no reason to be like that, so we're not going to accept When I know Mayday has seen another dog, what do I do? Wait there, what do I do? You say, you leave it. Give a preemptive leave it. Once I know she's seen the dog, it's not a leave it that she's in trouble. Yep. It's a tap, tap, don't do it. Okay, yep. okay, let's go. Mayday, leave it. I didn't even do it there much. Yep. You know why? Because she already saw, she listened to the leave it. Yep. So I barely touched it. Let's do a gentle slowing, we'll start there. I wanted to see, Nice. This is a nice staffy, yep. nice body language, and it's a pretty calm staffy. It's not whining, not being crazy. Now, what do we do? We watch body language. We watch her, we watch him. Yep. Okay? We go slow. Remember what I said a nice first step when we feel comfortable? Good dog. Let, let, her, let him greet. Good dog. Good dog. That's okay. Okay, there's a little sniff. Now, we still hold at the end of the lead. We keep them reasonably sort of in control. Okay. Leave it. Leave it. Good dog. Leave it. Good girl. Good dog. Leave it. No, leave it. Leave it. Do it again. Let's go. Leave it. Leave it. Bring it back in. Good dog. Good girl. Come on. Let's go. Conch. Good dog. Good dog. Good dog. That's the way. Conch. Yeah. No, initially, see his body language, not too dominant, but a little bit of a tail up, okay. big tough looking dog, making her a little uncomfortable. But we need to get dogs that make her uncomfortable to teach her to fix it. There's no point bringing Labradors in here all day, which she loves. Yeah. I want a dog that makes her a little bit on edge, where we teach her, remember what you talked about, you said to me, you're not expecting her to go and play with this dog. No. You're just expecting her to be around dogs yeah. and not yeah. bite them. Yeah. We're doing that now, yeah. okay? She's learning that I'm not gonna tell her off. Hey, Mayday, as long as, no, I'm not gonna let her hide with you either, yep. okay? As long as, Mayday, she's not growling, I'm good. Yep. I'm gonna let her walk while I take her own choice here. I'm sort of like trying to keep her on almost like not on a lead. So they're together. Hey, Conch, how you doing, buddy? You're a good boy, you're a good girl. Good dog, yeah? Good dogs, good. And this is, a really good outcome so far. We've got two dogs together, a strong looking dog, yeah? A scared dog, anxious dog, doesn't know what to think, but she's not 
pursuing him. They're within, what, one meter now. She's not snarling, okay? And everything's good. Nice, loose lead. She's not running to you for protection. Mayday. Good dog, yeah. Let's go. Come on, Mayday, quick. Good girl. Beautiful. I want her to be around dogs she trusts. Good girl, Mayday. Because I don't want you to misunderstand me. I don't want to correct your dog. The sooner I can never pull the lead, the better. Yep. I want to work towards what I'm doing now. Good girl, good girl. Yep. But we need to go through the first process. We need to teach her it's not acceptable. Nice behavior. Let's go next dog, Martin. Yep. Good girl, Mayday. I'm very proud of you. You're a good girl. Leave it. Good dog. See the ears go back when I gave the leave it? That means, okay, I'm watching, I'm listening. Not in fear, but a little bit of control. Now Enzo will probably make her snarl a bit because he's a bit energetic, or not, we'll see. That's the quietest I've ever seen Enzo. So I'm just letting her, good girl, good dog. Yep, that's the quietest I've ever seen him. Good girl, I wanted to investigate. Good girl, yeah, good dog. Hey, hey, it's okay. What I also don't want you to do is get too caught up in the little lip lifts. Okay. It's just her anxiety. Don't, I don't, I'm not gonna tell her off for doing little things like that. See how he went there because Enzo is near you? Good. Ah, leave it. Bring him back again. Good boy, Enzo, Enzo, Enzo. Hey, buddy. Good girl. Hey, Mayday. What's this? Mayday. Yeah, you want a drink? One drink. Look, doggy. Hey, doggy. Hey, what's this? Hey, what's this? Look. Try and get you a bit relaxed. Good dog. All the way. Look. Yeah, good girl. Good girl. That's the way. Nice. No ball's gone. Good dog. Good dog. Nice. Okay. Let's go next dog. Let's go one more. Leave it. Yep. Leave it. Good dog. Leave it. Good dog. Ada. Now what do we do? A little greeting. Good girl. We let Ada. Ah, no. Come back again. We let her meet. No. Take it to the back. Good dog. Good dog. No. Leave it. No. Good dog. There we go. It's okay. Leave it. Okay. Take her away. So this is the most uncomfortable she's been with any of the dogs. Okay, again, big, strong dog. Let's go. Good. Leave it, leave it, leave it. Good girl, leave it, leave it. Good, ah, 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 ah. leave it. No, don't go to mum for protection. I'm not gonna let you, I don't wanna let it get protected by you. Leave it. Good dog. Hey, Ada. Ada's sweet, Ada's nice. She's not being mean to you. She's not being mean to you. Hey, hey, hey. Leave it, no, ah, leave it, bring it back. Leave it, good dog, leave it, leave it. Ada, come on, good dog. There we go, that's all I want. Now she's not looking for me protection, she's not leaning on me. Good dog, hey, no, she's super calm, super placid. Good girl, Ada. Good dog, good dog. Good puppy. Okay, good. Okay, you can take her out. Now we're going to go to you handling. You'll be I fine. think she's doing amazing. You're more anxious than her. But like that snap there, what you would have done in the past, going, oh my God, take the dog away probably. I know. Just tell her it's not acceptable and let it go back. Look, if this is my dog, while I'm working on these things, I'm going to keep her on at least a long lead or a short lead. Dog park, dog beach, give her freedom. You're going to use that leave it command preemptively, proactively. Dog comes, leave it. But I want you to allow her to make as many good choices by herself. Okay. We don't want to go, oh my God, put her on a short lead, protect her, take her away. Yep. Let her try and make a good choice. And when she does, for her making a good choice is a little lip lift, but no lunge. I think that's a good thing for her. Okay. That's great. Okay. Yep. okay? She, what is she, what did I just what teach you? That's all she's saying. I just want you to understand. Okay. She's not actively pursuing a dog. Okay. You have all the right in the world, what you should be doing, if I was her with your dog, a dog comes up, I say to the other owners, oh, my dog's a bit anxious, can you just yep. keep your dog away? Yep. You're allowed to do that, okay? Don't feel you can't and your dog's gotta be. 
People are like dogs, dogs are like people. Some are introverted, some like their space, some are okay with playing, yeah? When she's wearing her other orange backpack, most people leave us alone, they automatically... Some people, training. some people purposely also muzzle their dogs for more of a reason that it tells people your dog's not yeah. antisocial, so they keep the dog away. Okay. You're allowed to go on the beach with your dog muzzle, it just means you're being, you're being actually quite responsible as a dog owner, okay. yeah? You might, if you feel that it, you aren't relaxed ever enough with it, maybe muzzle trainer, and then you know she can't do any damage. Okay. Yep. You, you can buy muzzles like the basketball ones I sell, they can drink out of it, their mouth can open all that way, they don't even, and they get used to wearing it. Okay. It's like wearing a collar, okay. and they just wear a muzzle when they go to the beach, dog park, they can't do any damage. Okay. Then you're a little bit more relaxed, you go, okay, she can do the lunge, but she can't physically hurt anyone. Yep. That might be a way you want to go. I want you to leave here today just knowing that your dog's not going to run and attack a dog. Yeah, okay. It's saying stay away. Yep. You're going to learn the preemptive leave it. You're not going to overreact when we get a little reaction. You're going to okay. give her a correction and you're going to try and introduce dogs. You hold the front. Okay. A collar is better than a check chain because you can hold it more secure. I lost a little bit of control there because the check chain slips a bit. Okay. okay. So you can have both on her. You can have the collar on her and the check chain. When you're introducing dogs, okay. you can hold her by the collar. Yeah, and then when you walk her and correct her, you can correct her with the chain. If okay, you to, huh? what's the procedure? Once she's seen the dog. What I want you to try now though, we're at the stage where she's learning the command. So you're gonna verbally give her a leave it. If you notice she doesn't change in body language, just keeps leaning forward, you then give it a little pop. So we give her a chance to make a good choice. So here comes my dog. Good. Okay, this time I'm gonna drop my lead, okay? My dog's gonna come up to your dog. Your job is to just be confident, not overreact. Nash, there you go, easy. She, I know she, what she's gonna do. No, I don't get, give her the leave it. Nash, let my dog pick up on the body language. This is what you're gonna get, learn. Good girl, mate, eh? But you see what my dog learned from that? Yep. Let them learn. Leave Nash, come here, buddy. Walk Mayday, walk her over here, walk around. Mayday, just walk okay. normal. Come over this way. Yep, she doesn't have to heal, let her walk. This is all about you getting more, relax, okay. relax. Okay, take a breath. She took one nip at my dog and he went, okay, okay. I'll stay away. Okay. Yep. You get it? Yep. Yeah? They are really clever at figuring each other out. Okay. She just went, that, what did she do? What did that mean? What she did, what did it mean? She get away. Just get away. Okay. She wasn't trying to attack him. Yep. My dog's playing with a stick now. Okay. <laughs> He's fine. He doesn't care. Okay. He's like, Okay, she doesn't want to play with me. Yep. Okay, the only dogs you'll have trouble with generally are puppies that are learning body language and they sometimes take a while to get it yep. and they'll come in and she'll have to give a couple of... Okay, I'm not saying condone it, yep. but what I'm saying is don't overreact to okay. it. Okay, certainly give her a, re a reprimand yep. if you catch her. Remember the timing should be within half a second of the action. Okay. So you see her do it, you go, but she's interested. Okay, let the lead go, let her go. Hey, Nash, good boy. Come here, buddy. Nash, come. Good boy. Nash, come. Come here, bud. Ah, you're a good dog. Yeah, you're a good boy. Good boy. Mayday, come on. Mayday, 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 come on. Come, 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 come. Yeah, mayday. Mayday, come on. Good girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good dog. Nash, come. Good puppy. Good dog. There you go. What do you think yep. so far? Okay, so I leave them together. I'm yep. going to get another dog. <laughs> Your attention. Let's go. Let's go Zeta. Stay. I'm just going to get a hold of it. I'm coming in and out so many times. It's getting ridiculous. Okay. No, no, I want you to leave her. Good girl. There's no tennis ball. What are you three doing? Hey, Zita. Hey Mayday, hey Nash, are you three friends? 
Are you friends? Look at you three. Are you going wandering together, huh? Okay, here we go. So Enzo's the flighty one, a fast golden retriever. But we'll see how we go. Where is she? Mayday, mayday, mayday. Come on. Come here. Yeah, good girl. Mayday. Come on. Come and meet the dogs. Mayday, mayday. Good girl. Mayday. Come on. Pop, 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 pop. Look at this. Look at this. Yeah. Good girl. Look at you. Look. That's okay. Don't be scared. Good girl. Good dog. Good girl. Yeah. She's trying so hard. Good girl. Now, what did you notice? What, look at the dogs. Are they, even con are they even concerned about her? No, 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 no. Okay? Don't be overly concerned. She's in the corner. She's saying, give me some space, let me out. And I'm okay. This is a behavior that she may do for the rest of her life. But I guarantee she can go the rest of her life and probably never get in a dog fight. You just don't let her get cornered. Nash, don't you chew that. You let her have space. And the most important thing right now is none of these dogs are retaliating against her because they're all nice. Yep. So the main thing is you as a handler know the other dogs. So you go, you go to a dog park, you look in. Do I like the look of all the dogs in there? Do I feel comfortable with all those dogs? Okay. Go in. None of these guys are fighting back. Put her with the wrong breed, or not breed, I shouldn't say breed, the wrong dog temperament, yep. where she does that and it goes back at them. Different story, okay? Well, she keeps going, there's a German Shepherd up there, she keeps going up to... I'm gonna bring him in. Do you know why? He's a full male. Okay, we've got a new dog that hasn't met. Hey, puppies! And I just sort of let her come to him. Okay. Let her show interest. Good dog. Good dog. And if you're ever a bit unsure, you always do it on lead at the start. Archie's a nice dog. Though. Good dog. Hey, Mayday. <whistles> mayday, Mayday, Mayday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Every time I do that, I feel like I'm in a, <laughs> I'm in a crashing plane. Mayday, come here. Come on. Mayday. Hey, Mayday, look. Yeah, come and meet him. Come and meet Archie. Look, there's a new puppy. What do we got now? One, two, three, four, five. Five dogs together. Look at you all. Hey, buddy. Archie. Huh? Hey, yeah, you're on camera. Huh? Hello. Oh, you like the camera. Look at you guys, all together. Very good. Last dog. Uh, uh. Let's see how we go. It's all right, it's all right. Does Archie look worried? Hey, hey Mayday, hey Mayday, hey Mayday. They're all nice puppies, yeah. They're all nice puppies. They are. Hey, buddy. Now, this is where you get that, whether she comes or another dog comes running in, jealousy. So we do this. We be ready. Mayday, mayday, mayday. Come on. Come on. Oh, you want to meet the dogs? What have you noticed? She hasn't come to you much. She's been doing her own thing. Mayday. Mayday. Hey, mayday. Oh, come to me. Come on. Good girl. Good dog. Pat him from here. Nash, come here, bud. I'll be ready. Oh, Archie, leave it. Good dog. Leave it. So I know that she might react. So I give those, <laughs> those preemptive leave it. Nash, come here, bud. Nash, 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 come here. Leave it. Good girl. Come here, guys. Come here, Zeta. Uh, hey, they all want what he's got. Go and play. I'm going to see if she'll go and play. Yeah. Hey. What are they doing? What are they doing?
He's got a stick in his mouth and they're all wanting a stick. Like a bunch of juveniles. Yeah, the, it's a bone, it's a goat horn. So they're all like, give me that goat horn. And he's trying to eat. <laughs> hey, go and get it. Good dog. Good girl. Look at you, mate, eh? Amazing. Look, 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 look. So Your good. dog just reminded me why I do what I do. To do things like that. Yep. Come on, tell me that hasn't made your day. No, Look at your dog. <laughs> She's laying in the water. It does not become more, you could not get a better finish. <laughs> Look at you. Oh my God, that makes me, I'm so happy. You could not get a more no, relaxed so dog. Look at you. She doesn't care. That's right. Yeah, because you're, be, you're being, you're being more confident. Okay. We've also taught her some rules. We're yep. not putting up with that anymore. Yep. Okay. So if you were down there then patting the dog and she started coming over towards you, what would you do? I'd say leave it. Yeah. You give a preemptive. Yep. And what does it mean? I'm watching you. Yep. Yeah. Don't dare. Don't come in and do anything. Yep. I want to pat this dog and you have to deal with it. Yep. Get over it and go and play. Yep. Okay. No more guarding. No more protecting. Yep. I don't need it. I'm a yep. big girl. Yep. I'm fine. Yep. When you meet people, shake their hand. Hi, okay. how are you? In front of her, she sees it. Okay, okay. so she accepts them. Yep. Pat other dogs. Yep. Don't work around her. Okay. Make her work around you. You're the yep. human, she's the dog. Yep. You know what I mean? Yep. No more, okay? I, it, like, I legit, I do not say that. Gee, your dog has made me remember today why I do what I do. To get a dog come in like that and then be dropping in the water. Yep. That was a dog that wouldn't take food out of my hand exactly. at the start. Yep. Then she did, then she's with five, four dogs, five dogs, whatever it is, and in the water. Yep. And over there while yep. we're having a chat. Yep. yep, she's not being worried about where I am. Huh? So good. Amazing. So good. Okay, so okay. that doesn't mean you're not gonna go to the beach, you're not gonna snarl again, but what you're not gonna do is overreact. Yep. Just true. walk yep. on. Yep. Just go, hey, come on, get out of it. She's not going to run and attack a dog. No, no, and she doesn't. She only ever snarls. But I want you to pay less attention to it. The more okay. drama you make about it, the more she, it's a big deal, she'll probably do it. Just go, oi, leave it, and let's get on with it. Okay. Life yeah. moves on, we're going, okay? But the big thing is, is those preemptive, proactive, whatever word you want to use, leave it. Dog's coming, I'm watching you, leave it. Okay. I'm patting a dog, I'm watching you, leave it. I want a lot of place stays. Okay. Place stay, get it to her, she stays there for 20 minutes. When you're at home, where does she, when you're watching a movie, where does she sit? Underneath the table usually. Good. She's not on the lounge with you? No. Okay. If she does, it's not that she can't, but when you have a dog that's reactive, you want to get her off the lounge, get her off the bed, get her off anywhere where she feels she's equal to you. Okay. Get yep. her down. Okay? Until yep. she behaves better. Okay. It's like, if you had a misbehaving child all day, all night, you wouldn't let him come and sleep in your bed. Yep. You know, you're in trouble. Go to your own room. Okay. Same with your kid. Okay. Same with your dog. Okay? Yep. Really important. She's looking to play. <laughs> oh my God, I've got to get it on video. So the reason she's not doing the snarling as much anymore is like I just said to you, is that normally your reaction, remember I said like a knee jerk reaction, yep. which is everyone does it. Oh my God, the dog snarled, take it away. Yep. But like I just said to you and I'm repeating myself, she has a win by that because she doesn't want to be near the dogs. So when she snarls and you put her in the car and go home, she goes, yeah, that's how I get rid of dogs and I get to go home. Don't put her around. Now you're going, you can snarl all day. We're not going anywhere. I'm walking on the beach. I'm going to the dog park. I'm walking downtown. I'm going to correct you for snarling okay. and I'm going to go on with my daily routine. She's not going to win anymore. And it just hit me then. That's why I just say it again. That that is the biggest reason why she's stopping the snarling now as much is that she's not having the effect on you. You're pretty much ignoring it and it will just subside as subside and she'll realize that she doesn't get a reaction out of you. And when she doesn't get the reaction, she'll give up on doing the behavior. She's gonna play here, is she? Nah, she's faster. <laughs> <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> hey, 
Hey guys, you saw that video, which was, I think, absolutely amazing. Such a good transformation. If you enjoy my videos, I appreciate a like, a subscribe, a share, tell your friends about it. I hope you learned something from this and I look forward to seeing you real soon with more knowledge and education to help you guys out with your dogs.